Hello and welcome to module two of your journey into promised land living. To set the stage for this session, I'd like to share a couple of stories with you. First story is about a man who was driving home from work one evening and he noticed a little league baseball game happening and decided he'd stop and check it out. So he pulled off the road and parked his car and went and sat in the, the stands and he happened to be sitting on the lowest bleacher right behind one of the, the dugouts where the kids were sitting on the bench and he leaned up to the fence and he whispered to one of the little boys on the bench and asked him, hey, hey, what's the score? Who's winning? And the little boy turned around, he had a big smile on his face. He says, well, right now we're losing, it's 14 to nothing. And he had a big old smile on his face. And the man was kind of curious as why the kid wasn't upset. He goes, well, you seem pretty okay with that. Aren't, wouldn't you, shouldn't you be upset? You're down 14 to nothing. And the little boy goes, oh, I'm not worried. We hadn't got up the bat yet. The story right there illustrates the importance of perspective if you want to succeed in your life. The second story I want to tell you is about a man who had been having a really hard time at work. The economy was tough. Sales weren't going the way he thought. It's, Income wasn't where he thought it was going to be. His family was really struggling and came home from work after a really hard day. And as he's walking back to his bedroom, he notices in the guest room his little daughter in there doing something. And he peeks in to check on her and she hollers, Oh, Daddy, don't look, don't look. And she dives on top of something. And turns out she had been making him a present and she was wrapping it for him. And he walked in to check on her and she hollered, Oh, Daddy, don't look, don't look. And she dived on top of something. And he realized that she was wrapping a present and she told him it was a surprise for him and he noticed that she was using the gold foil wrapping paper that his wife had bought for special occasions like wedding gifts and things like that. It was very, very expensive and just the thought of that struck him wrong because of the money situation and he just began lashing out at his daughter, fussing at her about using expensive paper for a silly gift and she, she got upset and he had to kind of calm down and and talk it through with her and um, but she she got past it and the next day he came home from work and he was sitting at the dinner table and his daughter uh, came walking into the room with this present and she was beaming and she had finished wrapping it and she handed it to him and she said daddy I made this just for you and he was really feeling bad about kind of lashing out at her the day before so he thanked her and said oh honey this is beautiful and he unwrapped the package and pulled back the gold foil and as he took the lid off the box he looked inside there was nothing in the box all of a sudden all that anger welled up inside of him again and the thought of the waste of the paper for an empty box just just struck him wrong and he began to to really yell at her and say I cannot believe you wasted your mother's good gold wrapping paper on a on a box that doesn't even have anything in it don't you know when you give someone a present there's supposed to be something in the box and the little girl's eyes filled up with tears and they started rolling down her little cheeks and she said, oh daddy, the box isn't empty. I've been putting kisses in it for, for weeks. I've been saving them up and I wanted you to have a whole box of kisses so that every day you could have a kiss from me. And she took off to her room crying. She was so upset and the man felt terrible. Of course, he, he went to her room and, and apologized and, and made it up to her. And you know, he kept that box. And over the years, especially after his daughter had grown and gotten married and had a family of her own, was living in another state, he, he would get that box out and he'd open it up and he would imagine one of her little kisses floating up and landing in his mouth and he would think about his daughter and how much he loved her. In this module, Cheryl's going to walk you through a process of how to focus to make sure that you're, you're lined up in the right direction, accomplishing and pursuing the right things and not forgetting what's important along the way. Hope you enjoy the work you'll do in Module 2.